What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Anime Now and Forever. You like cop stories? We got that. You like elf looking girls with swords? We got that. You like magic power beings? We got you covered. Today, we'll be talking about cop craft. Imagine a world where a gate to another world opens up over the Pacific. On the other side of this gate lives monsters, elves, fairies, things beyond the imagination. On the earth as we know it, illegal activities such as prostitution, drug, trafficking, kidnapping are all taking place. And the people responsible for it are humans and aliens. And it comes down to two individuals with contrasting personalities to solve these injustices that are occurring. In the midst of trying to understand one another, will they be able to put aside their petty differences and work together? This anime revolves around two characters, Matobe K. He's a very clever detective with a slight resentment towards aliens. Going forward in the anime, you find out where this resentment comes from. He's very straightforward and hard to get along with. On the other end of the spectrum, you have Talarna. We'll call her Till for short. She's a royal knight that comes from the other world. She's very serious when it comes to culture, but she's very curious about our world. She has a very naive point of view as to what goes on. And she's also wants to know more about Kay. The things I like about this anime, I like the artwork. I like the character development. I like how they're taking uh, Talarna or Till and Abe and they're slowly bringing them together with their contrasting personalities. I like how if Till's in trouble, Abe will go out of his way to try to save her and vice versa. The animation fluidity in terms of the fight scenes, I think is pretty nice. The story has the ability to go in any direction. And I look forward to seeing where the direction of this anime is going to go. And this anime, this anime reminds me of a very old anime called Wicked City. Agents from opposite worlds. They're the last defense against the anarchy of the black world. Where you had the partner from the human world. And then you had a partner from the spirit realm. And they had to come together to fight the forces of evil. So this anime really borrows from that. What I want to see, I want to see what's on the other side of that gate. I want to see how the people over there live. I want to see if their society is better than our society. I want to see who their society is. Is it just elves, monsters, and fairies? Are there any more beings over there? Do they like humans? This anime has so much room to grow. And it could definitely go beyond the 13 episode scope. It could actually go a full 24 episodes. But I, I don't see it happening. This anime really has me glued with the the the, end, the type of endings they have, the, the cliffhanger endings. I, I, I love that about this anime. It keeps it keeps you glued to the seat. The highlights of this anime was number one, the first death that took place. When Matobe had his partner's neck just crushed and just choked at the same time, that was brutal. The first fight, the first sword fight scene was pretty sweet. Again, the fluidity of the animation really drew me in as a character. Another scene that I liked was when Tiara left the club or a restaurant where her and Matobe were talking about when they, they were in search of this fairy and she got a good lead on it and she left her sword behind and she got into a situation that was a little bit over her head and Kay going through a care, um, character progression 
you know, ran after her with her sword, you know, in order to, you know, help her out. Things, scenes like that really, you know, stick out to me. I, I, I love things like that. And the, the very last fight scene where you see Kay on the verge of death, and I think he did die, actually. And, like, the fairy that they have both going at, um, went after, you know, helped sacrifice herself to help bring Matobe back. I thought that was very instrumental to the building of both of their characters. And at the end of this particular arc, where you thought Till went back to her homeland, and you just seen Abe just, just lost, because they had come so far together. And at the very end of the episode, you just see her waiting in the couch, and him, you know, going back into his apartment. You could just, he didn't show it, but there was a sense of happiness there. And I, I enjoy things like that. You know, I, again, as I stated earlier, I, I love the way that they're slowly but surely taking these contrasting personalities and it's slowly bringing them together. I like things like that. I really hope this anime continues to push forward. I hope it surpasses the 13 episodes. Um, I look forward to more from this anime. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you next time. Matane.